Hi, this is Shelley Kraft, and welcome to SNN Live. We're at the Biotech Showcase 2012, and we're in San Francisco. I have Michael Liebman, Dr. Michael Liebman, a PhD of IPQ Analytics, a private company. Michael, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you very much. It's good to have you. Okay, let's get right into IPQ. I'm not going to be cute because I have no idea what IPQ <laughs> stands for. So why don't you tell me? Okay. IPQ Analytics is a company based around the concepts of identify, prioritize, and quantify the analytics of risk in the drug development process, and in particular, initially in terms of clinical trials, understanding how to anticipate what risk may exist in a clinical trial before the trial is initiated to try to design a trial that will be more effective and efficient and overcome the problem we have where only 9% of clinical trials actually lead to successful products. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> what a needed company. I mean, we hope so. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I don't know how how big a field is it. Well, what we have done is because I have background in both academics and in the pharmaceutical industry, is try to leverage what we've identified as the need, and that's given us a unique opportunity to start off with an informatics perspective to solve the problem by first identifying how big the problem is, and then progressively move to something that becomes very much more quantifiable and leads to an action plan. That combination of different approaches into one can concerted effort is something that is relatively new. Because I do know that there are consulting companies that companies hire to get through the process mm -hmm. of FDA approval. Correct. Am I correct? Correct. But this is more than FDA approval because what happens is a company can be very successful technologically, develop a drug that could work very well in the laboratory and maybe in, even in some of the clinical trials. But what we're really focused on is the conversion of those early ideas into something that be also becomes not only clinically relevant but a commercial success. And in that manner, it helps not only the pharmaceutical or biotech company, but it actually helps the patients and the physicians as well. I'm telling you, I'm really fascinated <laughs> because, you know, I, hmm, you know, when you start to think about this, that's really a missing ingredient for a lot of these smaller companies. I mean, really. And, and that's why we've tried to position ourselves in where we see the need and take advantage of the fact that we have a very broad background coming from the, both the commercial and academic side. So we understand the processes at the molecular level, but even also at the clinical level and the commercial level. And we think all of those perspectives really have to be tied together to come up with a successful solution. So, without mentioning names, of course. What is the process? When when does when sh when should the company come to you? And I ask that because you know you might come in for damage control. Yeah. You know you might come in after a uh, yai time. You know. I'm and, just and we're able to come in in all of those different points and and hopefully contribute to making things better. But where we are most successful and where we can provide the greatest value is when the company actually has starting to design the trial and wants to know before the trial design is completed and actually implemented where are there risks that they may not have approached or identified because we have a systematic way to identify those risks and bring those open to review and support a better decision-making process. So the earlier you can make the right decisions, the more effective and more efficient your whole entire process can be. How interesting. So I see you working with the IT and development side. I see you working with the business side. I yes. see you even working with the guys that are going to commercialize it. And you are like a liaison to companies from large pharma who may be coming in to look at the company for a partnership basis. That's right. We, we work with pharma and biotechs, of course, both in the therapeutic and diagnostic arena. But we're actually also working with clinical research organizations who are starting to do the trials in an outsourced manner for pharma. And we're even working with some investment groups that are looking at either in-licensing or out-licensing because what we're able to do is provide some idea of what the potential risks may be in those new products. And 
even as a new extension, we've been approached by regulatory agencies, both here and in Europe, to help understand how there's a difference between the clinical trial population and the real world population of patients who are actually going to get the drug and hopefully benefit from its effects. This was an interesting interview, ladies and gentlemen. What is your website? www.ipqanalytics.com And this is Dr. Michael Liebman. Michael, I want to thank you for coming on to SNN Live. Thank you. Uh, I, you know, I see where you fit in. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great to hear. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.